Hi guys, I wanted to do a quick video for you, or maybe not so quick. I wanted to touch on a topic that we spoke about at our inner circle, and I think it's a really, really important point. And I want to try and see if I can get that uh, to you. Okay, a lot of you guys that go to these real estate seminars, these real estate investment club meetings, or maybe you watch a webinar online, you're looking for a way to get out of the situation that you're in. Okay, and s some people refer to that as a rat race where you feel like you're just constantly spinning your wheels in the same spot and you're not really getting anywhere. You know, if you ever feel like your life consists of rushing to work in the morning, dropping the kids off, uh, working nine to five, then running to the grocery store, making dinner, taking care of the kids, and then maybe at the end of the day, you've got five or 10 minutes uh, uh, to relax before you can pour a glass of wine and, and, and watch House of Cards or Game of Thrones. Um, and then you wake up and you do it all over again the next day. And, 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 and that's what people refer to as the rat race. Um, you know, when you live that kind of life, first of all, you don't need to live that kind of life. But when you do live that kind of life, then you have what I call the Donkey Kong effect. And, and I don't know if you recall, back in the 80s, there was a video game I used to play a lot when I was a kid. It was called Donkey Kong. And basically, there's this guy who's a donkey, a Donkey Kong, and, and there's these barrels that are moving towards him. And he's got to constantly jump over them. So I, I view... Uh, uh, life for a lot of you guys as having this Donkey Kong moment where you basically uh, um, get a paycheck every month and then you take that paycheck and you use it to pay your mortgage or your rent and then you take it to whatever's left over and you pay your car, your insurance, your gas and then maybe the grocery store, electric, DSL, lights, etc. And then you look at what's left and with what's left maybe you make a payment on your credit card and then you look at what's left and it's not so much, right? Uh, you know, there's been studies that have been done that say that 47% of the U.S. population couldn't come up with $400 in an emergency. Now, hopefully, if you're watching this, you're not in that kind of a situation. But I bet that many of you that are watching this would have a hard time coming up with fifteen dollars or $20,000 to do a fix and flip on a property if, if that opportunity arose for you. And if that's you... Or if you find yourself in a situation where you couldn't put $3,000 or $5,000 down as a deposit on a, on a property, if you found a good deal, then you are what I would call in that Donkey Kong moment, where you basically you have a wall in front of you like this. And you're trying to jump over that wall. Every time you get a little bit of money coming in, it goes out as quickly as it comes in. How do I know this? I was in that situation for many, many years until I broke free from that situation and got into real estate. So you see, what I want you to start thinking about is I want you to imagine if, let's say, you have $5,000 in your account, in your checking account, right? $3,000 in your checking account. What I want you to imagine is how you could double that or how you could quadruple that or how you could make 10 times that amount. You see, because... Let's look at some raw numbers, reality in today's market, all right? Let's say typical fix and flip that I do on a $100,000 house, you came to me and said, Lex, I want to borrow $90,000 and put down 10. Will you do this loan? Let's say I said yes. That's 10000 that you would need. Let's say the house required 15000 in repairs. That would be another fifteen. so 10 plus 15 would be twenty-five. Let's say the points and fees would be another 5000 and and let's say interest for six months, which is what you predict it would take to fix and flip this property and sell it and get your money back, would be another five. So in total, that would be 10 plus 15 plus five plus five, which is $35,000. So imagine you found a great house, an amazing deal on a house that you could buy for 100000 but you didn't have that thirty five. Well, you'd really be left with two choices. Choice number one would be to do nothing. You'd get the house under contract, you'd cancel your contract, you'd walk away and make zero money. Unfortunately, 99% of you watching this video right now would do exactly that. And the reason is, is because you wouldn't have somebody to sell it to. If you had a buyer's list, or if you worked with someone that had a buyer's list like me, you might be able to flip that property and make five, six, seven, eight, maybe $10,000 on it. And if you did, then the balance that you had in your account, let's say it was 5000 could now be 12000 And now all you'd need to do is replicate that. And if you could replicate that a few times and you could get yourself up to that 30 or 35, then you'd be able to come to someone like me and say, hey, Lex, I'm buying this house for 100000 I'd like to put 10 down. I'd like to borrow 90 from you. And I'd say, okay. And you know the funny thing? When you buy that house and you fix it up, your cost is all in 115 and you sell it for 115, 150, okay? Net net, after commissions, you're probably going to walk away with a profit of about twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars, which means that your thirty-five 
will now be almost double. At which point in time you can now do two deals. $200,000 houses, fix and flip them simultaneously, make 25, 25 would be 50. And if you do that every six months, that means in one year you could do four deals, 25 times four would be $100,000. And I bet that most of you watching this video don't make that in an annual income. The, the US median income is about $50,000 a year. So do you see how just to replicate the US median income, you'd only really need to flip two or three houses a year? Do you understand that the only thing stopping you from doing that is getting a little bit more money in your bank balance? And the only thing that's stopping you from getting more money in your bank balance is knowing how to wholesale one house? So when you look at it from that perspective, and you go and you look at all these real estate training programs and boot camps and courses that are out there, it's very easy to grab at things. I call it the ADD poodle effect. You know, like a poodle and you're waving a dog biscuit and they go, oh, lease options, oh, wholesaling. And they, they can't focus on any one thing. If you just simplify the concept and you really break it down to simplicity, all you need is one house. One house, wholesale it to someone else, make five or $10,000. If you can do that, replicate that three or four times and you'll have enough money to do a fix and flip. And if you do a fix and flip and replicate that two or three times, you'll have enough money to quit your job and focus on rehabbing full time. And then my friend, you will be out of the rat race. All right, so if you'd like to learn more about how you can do this, just go ahead and put your name and email address below and I'll show you how the Donkey Kong effect works in your life, how you could get out the rat race and how you could go from where you're at now to a whole nother level just by changing the way you think. All right, so this is Lex Levenrad and I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tidbit over here and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the other side.